Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. Now make sure to stick to the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have x to the power of x to the power of 2 is equal to 16. So I want to find the value of x here. For my solution, first start with x to the power of x to the power of 2 is equal to 16. Now I'm going to take the power of 2 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 16 to the power of 2. Important property of exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. And m and n, these two are interchangeable, meaning a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n times m. So if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then this means that a to the power of n times m, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of n. So in simpler terms, a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So right here, we have x to the power of x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 16 to the power of 2. So we can think of x to the power of 2 as m and 2 as n. So this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m, meaning if we change these two places, this is going to equal x to the power of 2 to the power of x to the power of 2 which is equal to 16 to the power of 2. Now I'm going to let x to the power of 2 equal to the variable y. So now I have y to the power of y is equal to 16 to the power of 2. Now 16, this is the same thing as 4 to the power of 2. So now I have y to the power of y is equal to 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now, if we go back, remember how if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 4 to the power of 2 to, 4 to, the power of 2, to the power of 2, that's going to equal 4 to the power of 2 times 2. And 2 times 2, that's equal to 4. So I have y to the power of y is equal to 4 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, y is equal to 4. However, remember, we're solving for the value of x. So if x squared is equal to y and y equals 4, this means that x squared is equal to 4. So now to solve this, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. These two cancel out. Now I'm left with x is equal to positive or negative 2. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 6 to the power of x is equal to 60. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite 60 as 6 times 10. So now I have 6 to the power of x is equal to 6 times 10. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 6. So then these two cancel out. Now I'm left with 6 to the power of x over 6 is equal to 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, 6 is the same thing as 6 to the power of 1. So I have 6 to the power of x over 6 to the power of 1. And if you divide these two, you get 6 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 10. Now, if I take the log on both sides, I have log 6 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to log 10. So an important property of logarithms is that if I have something to form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent and b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, log 6 to the power of x minus 1, I can move x minus 1 to the front. So this is going to equal x minus 1 times log 6 which is equal to log 10. Now, if I divide both sides by log 6, these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x minus 1 is equal to 
log 10 over log 6. Now I'm going to go ahead and add 1 on both sides. So these two cancel out. Now I'm left with x is equal to log 10 over log 6 plus 1. Now log 10, this is the same thing as 1. So now I have x is equal to 1 over log 6 plus 1. So log 6, this is equal to 0 0.7782. So if I replace 0 0.7782 with log 6, I get x equals 1 over 0 0.7782 plus 1. Now 1 over 0 0.7782 that's 1.2850 plus 1, and this is equal to 2.2850. So this is my answer. At the end of the problem, I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. All right, so I have 5 to the power of x plus 2 is equal to 4 to the power of x. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ln on both sides, or natural log. So now I have ln. 5 to the power of x plus 2 is equal to ln 4 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can actually move this x1 and b to the front. So this is going to equal b times ln a. So for ln 5 to the power of x plus 2, I can move x plus 2 to the front. So that's going to equal x plus 2 times ln 5 which is equal to, for ln 4 to the power of x, I can move x to the front, so it's going to be x times ln 4. Now, if I distribute ln 5 with x plus 2, I get x times ln 5 plus 2 times ln 5 is equal to x times ln 4. Now, I'm going to subtract both sides by, LN, by x times ln 4. So now I have x times ln 5 minus x times ln 4 plus 2 times ln 5 is equal to 0. Now if I subtract 2 times ln 5 on both sides, these two cancel out. Now I'm left with x times ln 5 minus x times ln 4 is equal to negative 2 times ln 5. So now if I factor out x from x times ln 5 minus x times ln 4, I get x times ln 5 minus ln 4 is equal to negative 2 times ln 5. Now, if I have something in the form ln a minus ln b, this is the same thing as ln a over b. So ln 5 minus ln 4, that's going to equal... ln 5 over 4. So I have this is equal to negative 2 times ln 5. Now I can move this negative 2 to the front of the 5. So now I have x times ln 5 over 4 is equal to ln 5 to the power of negative 2. Now 5 to the power of negative 2, that's the same thing as 1 over 25. So now this is equal to ln 1 over 25. Now if I divide both sides by ln 5 over 4, These two cancel out, and now I'm left with x is equal to ln 1 over 25 over ln 5 over 4. So this is my answer.